I've had the quad-core version of the Mac Pro 6.1 pretty much ever since the first day of its release, and I've been using it as a daily driver for at least the last nine years or so. And I've always wondered to myself how this machine would compare to the Mac Spec 12-core version. So recently I took the plunge and went ahead and bought a Mac Spec machine to compare to the one that I've already got. In this video I'm going to compare the Blender test performance between these two machines, and in order to do this I'm going to make use of a Cray 2 model which I built up on a silicon graphics machine. The reason that I've chosen to make use of the Cray 2 scene rather than the standard test.blend scene that I usually use is because I needed something that would make the machines work extremely hard and adequately test their multi-core capability. I'm going to start off by testing my original machine, which I lovingly call the black hole, because it's black, it has a large hole in the top, and it has rotation due to its fan. I'm going to start off by showing you the system specs. It's a Intel Xeon E5 CPU running at 3.7 GHz. The machine has 16 GB of RAM installed and it is fitted with a pair of Fire Pro D300s with 2 GB of video RAM each. I'm going to be making use of Blender 2.79 for this test. I'm going to be rendering this scene at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 with a tile size of 8x8 and making use of 8 threads. This machine managed to complete this rendering in 47 minutes, 40 seconds and 45 split seconds. The reason why I've made use of a tile size of 8x8 is to give both machines the same advantage when it comes to making use of all their cores to render the difficult parts of the rendering. Now it's time to bring on the second machine, which I've chosen to call the Hurricane, as I purchased it from a seller from Florida in the USA. Again I'm going to start off by showing you this machine's specs. And as you can see, it's an E5 12-core Xeon running at 2.7 GHz. The machine has 64 GB of RAM installed, and it has a pair of D700s with 6 GB of video memory each. For this test I'm going to be making use of 24 threads with a tile size of 8x8 and again the resolution is 1920x1080. Wow, this machine managed to do it in 20 minutes, 16 seconds and 53 split seconds. Taking a look at the graph results of these blender tests, it becomes obvious that the 12-core machine is considerably quicker than the quad-core machine. In actual fact, it's 57.48% quicker. So when running a 3D application such as Blender, which can adequately leverage all the available threads, the 12-core machine makes the most sense. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching.